Here's problem 13.5. What is the magnitude of the free fall acceleration at a point that is a distance to r above the surface of the earth where r is the radius of the earth? Let's imagine what normally happens when we calculate the free fall acceleration. If we had the earth and you're standing on the earth your gravity is due to the gravitational attraction between you and the earth so you have the mass of the earth here located at its center of mass and then you have your mass located on the surface of the earth let's call it little m and the distance between you is the radius of the earth so you would describe your weight mg as being equal to the gravitational attraction between you and the earth big G mass of the earth your mass or the distance between you which is the radius of the earth squared because we treat the mass of the earth as being at its center at the center of the earth alright so if we were to describe it in this way we could get rid of little m on both sides your mass and then we would have that your gravitational acceleration is equal to big G mass of the earth or the radius of the earth squared and the value of that as we know is 9.8 meters per second squared you can verify this by actually putting in the values of G mass of the earth and radius of the earth and you would find that it indeed comes out to 9.8 meters per second squared All right. What would happen, though, if you were to travel to twice the radius of the Earth above the surface of the Earth? So, the situation might look something like this. Here's the Earth, and here's the radius of the Earth. But now you're going to go not one radius, but two ra radii above the surface of the Earth. So you're going to be in orbit out here like this and hence truly the distance between you and the earth is not 2r but it's actually three times the radius of the earth so you've gone from one radius to three times the radius in distance between the two masses the mass of the earth and your mass mass of the earth we're treating as at the center of the earth and you're out here alright so if we were to calculate the gravity at that point, we would say the mass times your gravity, that's called g prime, is equal to gravitational constant, mass of the earth, your mass, or the distance between you squared, which in this case is three times the radius of the earth squared. We can get rid of um, your mass on both sides of this equation and so this is equal to 1 over 3 squared which would be 1 ninth times g times the mass of the earth or the radius of the earth squared but we already know that g times the mass of the earth over the radius of the earth squared is 9.8 meters per second squared so what we have now is that g prime is equal to 1 ninth times 9.8 meters per second squared and if I do that I get 1.09 meters per second squared so if you were to travel to twice the radius of the earth above the surface of the earth the gravitational acceleration at that point would be 1.09 meters per second squared